Good morning everyone, today is my first vlog episode and before I start, yeah, before I start, give me a second. Oh, now it's better. So, the reason why I want to start my first uh, vlogging and uh, sharing information inside is because a lot of friends and uh, Chinese friends also asking me to discuss about uh, or share my informations and how I become a, a good boss here in China and having a, a big network created my fans in a short time and uh, how I'm good at selling so this is the reason why I want to start to share with all my friends my fans and uh, also with you who are watching me now the secret of selling, the technique of selling, the skills and also the marketing, the marketing way and how to take your business to the second level, okay? So, I will be now in the office and we start our first episode. See you! Yeah, it's weekend, so I'm the only person in the office. Saturday! Yeah, everyone, welcome to my office and today I'm going to share with you my first episode exclusively for all my fans and my friends and also for the people who want know how to open the business in China or become a top sales people and, and getting more profit. So today I'm going to share with you my first episode. I am talking about collecting prospect data. So this is will be my first sharing with you. And at the same time, I will tell you the reason why, because Many people now they start to find problems with the VPN that they cannot access to the foreign website and I'm talking about Chinese uh, friends. I'm not going to make it so long. Let's start. Now we open our browser, Chrome browser. Here we have to look for a Chrome extension. We call it Web Scraper and we add Chrome. So we go to the Chrome Web Store and uh, we will find, uh, yeah, it's this one. We will find the web scraper to appear. This is how it looks like and it's very important for uh, collecting the information and more than that. So this one we have to edit in Chrome. Me, I already edit already, but you can see here the spider house. So you can just uh, add it to Chrome. So when you add it to Chrome, it will appear here. Okay. So now we want, uh, for example, we want to collect data from the internet in other thing. You know that uh, if we uh, go to the internet, there is a lot of business directory. For example, I only just give an example. I write yellow pages, okay. And you can find a lot of yellow pages uh, from USA, Australia, Canada, and other New Zealand, and more and more. There is a lot of yellow pages for every country. And the only thing what you have to do here, for example, I will go to, for example, I will go to yellowpages.com. Okay. Here I access to yellowpages.com and I will write one of the keywords here. For example, I'm going to write uh, LED, for example. Okay, searching, for example, Los Angeles. Here they are giving me some suggestions about what kind of LED I'm looking at, LED scene, other thing. May I only keep LED and I write uh, 
uh, I will also click search button so here we get result from the yellow page directory and you can see here all the informations company names and more than that you can check here all the informations including the websites emails or other things else so uh, for example i will click uh, here to check the information inside you'll find that uh, they are providing a uh, company name address and uh, city uh, zip code uh, phone number email address as you see here down you can see email address there and also the website so me what i want is collecting all this data in one time without spending much energy and uh, saving my time so for this one the first thing we have to do is so we click here click up the mouse right button and click inspect element so when you go to inspect you find web scraper yeah web scraper so on web scraper as you see here normally this is some of my work before what i was working and before for some other other uh, directory and for this directory i can just show some examples of the data what i collect before from other exhibitions or uh, more than that you can see the company names and information all the informations no matter from uh, exhibitor list or uh, more than that i have a useful information no matter phone number uh, website the address and description the country the company name all this information are very important okay let's jump this part and we go again to the web scraper and we start by the first part when you go to web scraper and you have yellow pages uh, here the only thing what you have to do is creating a sitemap so creating a sitemap you just have to click here create sitemap and we call it LED yellow pages okay and we control C control V the URL link what we have here related to our search and we click create sitemap so when you create the sitemap automatically we will be uh, redirected to this tab and we will find sitemap LED yellow pages and we have a new selector the selector are very important because without selector you cannot extract the uh, exact data from that link so we have to start firstly by adding the new selector and we choose link here and select Okay, we want to select the links here. Start from the beginning. One, and uh, I can also add others to three and four. So we make four, it's select for us all the elements here. Okay, we already select all the, the links. With, we'll, already select all the links what we have here and we do don't select them so this is uh, number one number two is we choose multiple we keep it in the road and we uh, make sa save selector okay so the first part is already done we go to the second part where we have to get the information from the inside uh, page we click for example digital okay and we create a new selector at this time we have to create a selector that it can get for us the content and this page so we make a new selector, we call it for example content element and we come here and we choose element 
and select. So here we select already the formations now that in all the page it was selected so that they can get the information from all these pages. And here choose links and save the yeah don't select in and save selector. And now I have to go to content element. Okay. Uh, for the content element, I have to create other selector that it can give me the information like, for example, company name, address, state, uh, city, zip code, number phone, website, email address, or any other information that I want also collect from here like payment method or any other thing else. For the moment, I only want focus on the top information that I need for collecting my data. And here we choose firstly, add new selector and I call it company name and uh, choose here, select, we keep text here. We select the company name and done. And here we save the selector. The second one, it will be address, okay? And we keep text and we select uh, the address here and done selecting and save content element. Next one, it will be, for example, Los Angeles, okay? So we select Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And uh, we make here city, text, done selecting and save the selector. If you want to check if we already select the information or not, you can see from here when you click on data preview, you can see the information start to be collected according to our need. And you can also add other selector and you can set state and keep text and choose this one okay save uh yeah don't select them and save selector also zip code text select and uh, don't select them save the selector After that, we add other one. Okay, phone, keep text, select, and done selecting, save the selector. And here, here you have to be uh, more careful. Here this time, we have the website are inside of a link and the email address are inside of a link. So all what you have to do here, we start firstly by the email because it's very important here. And we don't choose text, we have to choose link. And we select here the email address, okay? Done selecting and save the selector. If you go to check the data preview, it will show you that the RD get the email from that link already and it was registered in the system and the data and then the last i can say in the last is uh, adding other selector website and uh, also we choose link remember we have to choose link here and select again and don't select and save the selector so here most of my data here are clear. This is what I need to get in prospect data. And after that, I will go to come back again to the same page, for example, here. So I have different pages here. The first thing I have to do is start by scraping the data that I have in my hand. So I click here, sitmap, 
and script. I will keep here the request interval 2000 millisecond and the page load delay is 500 millisecond. Start scraping. You will have a pop up, don't close it, keep this pop up working. And uh, if you close it, you already close the result. Normally, you shouldn't close it. Keep it working because it will uh, open the pages automatically. So, you shouldn't uh, close this page because now it's extracting the data from the pages what I select already automatically. I don't need to do any other thing now. I can go and make my cup of coffee and enjoy the show or do any other task so here i'm saving my time in doing other things the page is collecting the data automatically and it will save you a plenty of time trust me so here you can uh, yeah let's uh, speed up a little the time Okay, so here we already get in the data. You can see here. So all the data was collected completely. And uh, all what I have to do now is click here and export data as CSV. Here I have download now and open the file. So if you want to import a lot of uh, data, all what you have to do is just import in the sitemap links, like what I do, for example, creating the sitemap here, you have to create a uh, import a sitemap link and uh, you can add the sitemap uh, data here and import all. So you will have the same style as here. You can see here, for example, the CCTV Shenzhen uh, exhibition. It was uh, last time. You can get all the link here, or for example, the Hong Kong Electronic Fair. Okay, so all these links, it will be uh, importing uh, all the data from all these links. It means that you can get thousands and thousands of data according to the links what you add here. That's all for the moment. And uh, remember that this is, doesn't work just for the yellow page. It can uh, work for different websites that is providing uh, information. For example, I go to manta.com and I will write, for example, uh, LED display, for example, okay? And search here. So here you can see 22,725 results. We have a lot of uh, information here. I can, for example, click on some of these pages to check the information inside. And you can see here also they have a uh, number phone, email, website. You can use the same way that I use for Euro pages to extract again the information from this website and you can keep going uh, for other websites. So here you can have a lot of prospect data that it can be very helpful for you to follow up and communicate with and it save really, really your time because I use it also for my business. I'm sure that this information it will be very helpful for you also. Okay guys, I wish that you enjoyed the episode today and please, if you feel that this episode it was very helpful for you, share it with your friend. You can even subscribe to my channel because there is more video are coming and also, also, you can make some likes if you feel that this video was very helpful for you today. So that will also help me to share more video in my next time. Okay, see you guys in my next video and...